guys. I am seriously pinching myself right now. I can't believe it has taken me this long to hop onto the Arcane Studios train. Th these guys are seriously incredible. Look, look, I even tweeted about it, so, so, so you know it's real. But seriously, Dishonored 2 has been such a treat, and I just want to tell you guys about it. Oh. Bruh, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. So my backlog has been and continues to be super long. My Steam library has basically been untouched and I, I know I have a few games downloaded on my PlayStation that have yet to be beaten or even played. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys. But Dishonored and the genre it inhabits have always fascinated me and it has always been eating at me to play this game. But it wasn't until I watched a Stealth Gamer VR video that I was totally convinced that I had to play this game. Just, just look at this shiz. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is insane! No! <laughs> so, in this video, I'm not gonna dive into the story or the lore of Dishonor too much, which is all cool and dope. Frick, I, I love that shiz, but really, I just want to focus on how damn fun it is to play this game. <laughs> so, basically, each level of Dishonor 2 is a mini open world, or a jungle gem. And these jungle gyms are, you know, full of objectives and a target that you have to eliminate. But the kicker is, you can go about these tasks however the frick you want. There's no one way to play this game. Or, there's no one way to play around in this jungle gym. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> and this freedom of gameplay is so freakishly good and it's really addictive. Like, I couldn't put down this game since I started playing it. Like, think the openness and immersion of Breath of the Wild, but divide it into these little jungle gems. So, you can go about these jungle gems as sneakily as you want. Let me just get their blankets already. Let's have a look. Then we'll get their NyQuil. Just let, it, let me put it in my crossbow real quick. And, ooh, good night. Slumber party. Ugh, it looks so damn cozy. Or you can go about them as violent and as rambunctiously as you want. And this game's mechanics just make you feel like such a mastermind. Like, even though I totally suck at this game and I have absolutely nothing on Stealth Gamer BR or other players, there are several moments during this game where I would lose my breath get my breath back, <gasps> chuckle a little bit, <laughs> and then say something like, wow, that's the coolest thing I have ever done in a video game. <laughs> like, let me just show you some of my personal clips and I'll, I'll explain what I mean a bit. So as you can see in this clip right here, I put a stun mine at the door and there's three guards. Well, I, at first, excuse me, I thought there was only two guards. Turned out there was three, but I tethered two guards together, but I tricked them, you know, scared them a little bit, and then they came running to the stun mine. And I felt so cool doing this, and I know the clip doesn't do it justice. So right now I'm in the top floor of this person's house, right? And beneath their house is a shop that I can break into, but I don't have the code to the door to break into it. So, you know, right now, I'm just looking for clues, trying to find, you know, whatever I can. So, you know, reading some mail, doing some sleuthing, detective work. So right here, Wednesday, the month of rain. I figured, you know, that's gotta be a clue to something. Hey, so while editing this, I realized that the wed is not Wednesday. Like it means wed, like wedding, like we were wedded in the month of rain. So that context kind of ruins the rest of the story, kind of, but humor me. Like, 
I think it's still cool, but I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but there's still no indicator, there's still no numbers that you know indicate kind of any safe code or anything like that. So I'm just digging through this apartment. What you doing? What you, you drinking too much milk and reading too many books? Oh, yikes. Quick save to that. <laughs> but then I noticed this calendar right here and I match up the date that I read in the letter with the calendar here. See, so the month of rain, and that's the only circle the Wednesday, right? And the month of rain is the one, two, three, fourth month in the year. So the fourth month and the date that's circled is one, three, right? So I'm thinking four, one, three. But lo and behold, I go to the door, put in the code, four, one, three. And the door to the shop opens. I have never felt cooler in a video game in my entire life. And I genuinely mean that. I was blown away. I wish that I had an actual recording of myself in that moment, but gosh, I, I'm getting chills thinking about it now. That was such an empowering moment. So hopefully those clips were able to illustrate how joyful of an experience this game was for me to play. I've only played through the game once on a low chaos run with one of the playable characters, but you know, as far as I know, this game has so much replay value just with you know, all of the mechanics, all of the tools, and all of the different routes through each level. Like, I'm currently playing the first Dishonored right now as I continue my Arcane Studios deep dive, and I'm loving it for the same reasons I'm loving Dishonored 2, but man, I would be lying if I said that I haven't been thinking about alternative ways to jump around in the jungle gyms that I played in Dishonored 2. I seriously love this game. You know, its atmosphere is dank, it's heavy, the lore is dark and it's super cool, but I especially love the game's immersive sim gameplay. It's, it's mwah, it's, it's incredible. Even though I suck at Dishonored 2, you have my high, high recommendation. Not sure if that means a ton to you, but <laughs> hey, there, <laughs> there you go. All right, oh, shit. What was done that? being, what the, what the, what? <laughs>